<laughs> you're dead. What it do, what it do, you guys. Today we got a GVG. And if you wonder why it's so dark and I'm so dark, it's because it is thunderstorming outside. So if you hear a giant boom, then uh, Zeus might be coming for me. But other than that, we're gonna try to have fun this GVG because C is getting the skin today. And that's who I'm planning to play with, well, also Kowarik. So the E7 Championship got their skin, which is for Senya, and she's a Sen Senyan, I don't know how to say. I was like almost 30 years old, boys and girls. I feel like this is the calm before the storm, because we still haven't got nothing for Loja, and this week is kind of just this. Also, we get like an avid rerun, which is not bad. Also, we get that summoning target. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here. This is just, you can just choose your four or five star ML unit that, you know, you want. There's, there's no like special requirement like, hey, make sure you kill like 500 monsters, do like 20 quests, and then you, you get to choose it. Or can you just choose it not like willy nilly because that'd be fine for me because I don't even have half of these. I don't have, I don't have Sage, I don't have A Ravi, I don't have Rail, I don't have Key Sage, but that's Gen 1. I'll probably pick up FCC instead of C Lilies because. I still haven't got C Lilith, even though there's been like 44 Mystic Summons that been with her in the damn better, and I have yet to get C Lilith. I probably should get C Lilith, but you know, I'm gonna keep Brand instead. I'm gonna pick up FCC and play with FCC because I feel like she might get buff. It just, it's just, a, it's just a feeling. I'm hoping she does. And here's another thing that I do like that they're adding in the, for uh, new people with assist and easier targeting during auto battling, so you can target who you want to target first in the auto battle, which is actually pretty great. In all honesty, because I hate it when, you know, they just attack random things and it's sometimes mess up a one shot. But it's great that this is in the game. <laughs> so it make one shot kind of easier for auto battling. So this is honestly great. Other than that, that's nothing to really talk about. So first thing first, we want to talk about Kaur. I, guess, I, think I, I think I said this many, many times before. Kaur is a cool character. Unfortunately, he has no real spot of, you know, and stuff like that. He could be an opener. He's he's a decent opener, but he got overshadowed by C. Lilius. Literally do his job. Probably don't do the damage, but he does his job. Same with uh, Lua. He can just shut down an enemy team. Corey doesn't really do that. And then you know he also does. He just damage, right? But the last time I actually played with Kowarik, I think I have a, a picture somewhere. Was like in 2021. That was like three years ago since I last played with Kowarik or showcased Kowarik and I was on a slow Kowarik build, which is pretty much this, a, a crit destruction crit set because Armor Pen wasn't around back then. So he was on a, so we put him on Armor Pen set, you know, he don't, he don't have boots. Other one we played with is Senya. I think Senya is another character I haven't played in three years also. Since she's getting a scan, might as well play her. We got our SSS and I haven't touched her since then, so it's been a while since I actually showcased Senior or stuff like that, but you got that greater attack, you got the spirit down, but you guys know what you do because every defense have a Senya, Lilius, and Shu, don't they? <laughs> so let's get into the GBG and see how well we do with these two characters. All right, game number one, we got Sia, buddy, and then Gunther. It's been quite a while since I played with Gunther. He don't even have his helmet fully maxed out because I was just giving him on a leftover Attack set, but he has 7k and he also has the Samara B because I have an extra Samara B because the game can give me Samara Bs for some reason. And the bottom, we got Kawark, ML Ren, and then uh, Blooming Lydica. Now, I wanted to put Ren in a speed imprint because Kawark is like 180, so he's going to be slow. And Ren is 300 speed. Do I believe I can outspeed or speed RNG? Uh, a Zio. I think he got to be 250 to beat to beat around 310 units, right? Or 300. 260 or 250 speed. And usually people just put a bunch of speed on Zio. But here's the thing. I wanted to bring ML Akatis. Because if I bring ML Akatis, then she'll scoot up and push up Ren. Or I could just push up Quark. Maybe this might go in my favor, but maybe this might not go in my favor. You never know. Okay. In our way. With, with destruction, destruction and foil. So nobody can really die this first turn, which is, I guess, decent. But it kind of sucks that uh, Ram is way back there, so. 
Yeah, yeah, I said, do I push up? I might as well. The, what's the point of not pushing up? Gonna be free attack buff. Guns are gonna hit a little bit harder. And hopefully Ram... I mean, not Ram, but Sia do her things. I was thinking about, not really Ram doesn't, like, counter attack, but... Hopefully Sia do her thing in that meantime. Please don't strip off everything. At least they can't die, so they don't get, she don't get, a uh, Made Fury. We can still stun her. We're gonna stun her. My willpower will help so, me boop. overcome this. Sigurd Scythe, get it stunned. Boop. In the blink of an eye. And I'm pretty sure she can die from this. No, she can't die right now, but after she can't die. You? You're just a <laughs> I wanna attack her because we can't kill her, but I'm gonna do this just because I don't want her maid to go off. I still don't want her maid to go off. This is annoying for what it can do. Oop. Okay, maid price. I was hoping it didn't go off, but please don't crit my singer randomly. <laughs> I'll be really upset if you do if you do that. I'll take the lead. You can't die, so please don't counterattack. Kill. All right, and then give her a slap. Enemies approaching. And poker. Well, C is actually pretty easy. I should play with C a little bit more. <laughs> I should play with C a little bit more. But here's the tough part: How fast is Zio? We lost the speed tie. As I'll go for a ray. How how far did we lose that speed tie? This world. Yes. Ren is. Hella dead. No place for you. Do we S3 to give us no Quark is actually faster. Quark is speeding up, I can see that. So we're gonna see if we can stun her at least. We probably should have still burned. Don't ever think you'll make it out alive. <laughs> Dude, we don't have the hit wait, does he put the hit set, the hit chance? Oh, there's increased hit chance. I thought it would give him hit chance. We didn't we didn't have to worry about that back in the day. But this will give him stuff, so it won't target him. So I we're gonna S2. I got something for you. And we'll go with her. Please don't actually connect with her. <laughs> Please don't actually connect with her. This good. Oop, oop. Oop, oop. Okay, cool. This is is he gonna die for this? Yeah. <laughs> he's made of tissue paper. Okay, we probably gotta make him more bruise, even though he scales with speed. He scales with a lot of speed, but. Alright, game number two. We got Sia, CC, and Inos. I don't think you guys see Inos for like a whole year. Look at that smug face, but she'll touch a records because I ran out of healer artifacts to give to people, so she's a zonette. And she has 79 effectiveness with 100 effect res. Not too much because I noticed that 200 effective effect res, she still get debuffed. So I might as well keep it at 100 so people with zero effectiveness don't have a chance of debuffing her. And she can't, and she can't trigger a counterattack with her S3, which is actually pretty nice. And then by the way, I could work Solitaria, and then we also have Astromentor Elena, which is actually slower than Kawork 163. But I want to do... Um, the added attack, do that count as a, a AOE for her to get pushed up? I don't I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I like that so far in all the games that's going wrong has been with Sigia. So we're gonna S3 to see what, who we can get and who we can't get. Mm. I should have probably, probably should have waited because I saw Idos is actually faster. She's gonna die now. But I was I was hoping to get her provoked. Because she's dark human, she's gonna get murdered. Mm. Out. <laughs> hey, you gotta put this sleep. Hey, now she's back up. Get behind me. All right, we're well, S3. I hope that we actually do get a provoke on her. For this moment. Now is the time of judgment. I don't think I have enough effect in this. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna S2 Maya's attack, hopefully. Ow. We was able to debuff the the bunnies. She has Doctor Bag also, and hopefully we don't get provoked. As you can tell, I don't have no I don't have no effect res on it. Like it's been like three years. So 
that scene has a lot of effect risk. I should probably update my Senya. Like I said, it's been so long since I played with Senya, so. She is a little. Just poking each other. <laughs> We're just poking each other. Oh, she got put to sleep. Ah, uh, they're dead. I won't be able to win. <laughs> I was like, she got put to sleep before it's just a guaranteed crib she can put to sleep. I think the lady's gonna take a a beating. Which is fine. But here's the thing, we're gonna as we're gonna try for Elbris. What's up about her chance? Elbris is like twenty percent max. And this is I kinda said it's thirty percent, right? This is the thing, we're gonna hope for not an Elbris, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna S1. Alright, and do this trigger Elena's thing. It does, okay, that's actually pretty nice. We can sell burn, ignore factors, and give her a trigger on healing. But Kawark has his S2 that can also... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna soul burn this instead. Kawark doesn't really do much. Besides the minus the minus one on her skill, which I already they pretty much don't have you know anything on it. It does it twice. So we're gonna try to get rid of her. We'll be in stealth. I hope that she does a salvo. No salvo, please. Deal with it. the minus heal is great, and the stealth reduces her damage by fifty percent. Yeah, we're gonna hit her to try to get rid of her. Which is my biggest concern because I can't really crit her with this team. You think you and Akora has the hardest hit ability, is S3. Maybe. No one will be spared. It didn't really do much. We're moving up here. Why are these dual attacks? Stop them! Don't let them near me. So these dual attacks. <laughs> Alright, game number three. We got a Katis. I think she'll be the fast second fastest on my team. Kakorg is 180. She's 194. Unless we get speed RNG, then Korg happen to be faster, then Zeo will target her instead of uh Zeo target her instead of Zeo. And Elagos is in stealth. Which is nice and dandy. We're gonna bring Elagos for the defense break and also the first break and also some extra damage because Kawark seemed to can't he seemed like he can't do it by himself. <laughs> and about we got Sia, Elvera, and then uh Solitary. Two counters to whatever that team is. But let's see. So since Elegance is tough, she's gonna target Akati's by default because she is the same guys. Good. Now she's good up. Now here's the thing. Do I wanna ignore Factress? If I ignore Factor, I could push it back at target. Yeah. We're gonna do this because one, I won't co work to actually S2 and kill. If I S2 kill, I just want him to. This is 50, this is 30%. That was 40%. Is that enough for. He'll be right behind co work. Actually, he's faster, so he might get overlapped by co work. I didn't mean. I made it. I made a click. I wasn't paying attention. That was I okay. Whatever. His S two is his harder hit ability, and the one I got the most mola gourd over his S three. So we're gonna S two to see how hard this we can get. Definition of revenge. We chuck a briefcase, give him some scarecrow. cow. He's he's the highest attack. They didn't die because of anti crit. What a little boop, boop. We missed two crits and we got an Elbrus. No salvo, please. Okay. That's really unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We missed two crits. The anti crit is so strong, dude. <laughs> we lost two crits in a row. <laughs> well, I think you also crit anti crit the briefcase, too. We're gonna ask why we do get a dual attack, so that's good. Hmm. 
Leave me alone. Let's go to S3. That's unfortunate. I can't believe we actually missed two crits in a row. <laughs> and then we triggered an L. Uh, a <laughs> you had a better chance than No, I don't think you did. Anyway, say you're gonna do her thing. Turn to S2 and get her stuff. She get her constellation. We're going to S3. We might get counter attack here, but at least we get her a greater attack and counter. We got a blind, which is actually pretty nice. So, boop, she's dead. You look like a treat. I don't think we can win this one, but maybe see ya. We gotta get rid of her because the combat rating is reduction. And also, we gotta rid of Shu because she hits like a truck and stuff hits like a truck. So, what a poker that. I think we can just get rid of her. See a ship to my attack. Say, say it through a blind. Resist. <laughs> I don't like that much effect is or effect res, but come on, game. So this, now we just gotta wait for Singer to poke him down slowly with Beguile and your girl. This will be fun. Get ready, everyone. We don't have Sober, so get rid of her. You're not dead yet. Now we just kick her. This kind of no, this so it actually does damage. Like it kind of a not attack. So we're gonna wonder about her solo isolation, whatever. And will we be able to actually be able to kill her slowly? We're gonna get ran over, but this is insane. Why am I so busy? El there might be able to time. survive this. Yeah. But this kind of solo consolation consol consolation. I have one more turn. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. I was say if she dies, might as well pump this up, right? Cause her S3 is up. This will be fun. So we'll kick this her. Good look on you. Do some extra damage as much as we can, and then we go to RTA to see if we get one game, just one game with a, uh, one game with Kawark. <laughs> just one game, even though he's like really slow, but one game, one game with Ko Warwick. So one game with Ko Warwick. It wasn't how well he does, or they might just ban him because they was like, I haven't seen that character. That might be his trump card. Let me just ban him. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of, whoop, we can keep this Crow. Can my speed team, I don't have the speed team to deal with Crow. And I don't have a thing to deal with her at the moment. Eh, can Kawark deal with her? Yes. Let's get rid of Zeo. Even though my Zeo is actually pretty slow, I could probably bring my Zeo as a bait, but oh, he also bans Zeo. How fast is my Zeo? It's just like a dream. 227. Are you ready? And then, I think I'm gonna pick her as a bait. Here I come. Because she reduced combat readiness, so might as well pick her, pick her up. This is where we bring Ella goes because he has, you know, he doesn't really care about elements of disadvantage. And then we bring Kowarik. Kowarik have a problem against these uh, ice units. <laughs> By a problem, he has a big problem. And there she goes. <laughs> uh, the obvious, cho the obvious pick that he has to probably ban. Need my help? It's Violet. He can't do nothing against Violet, really. I might just get rid of Elvira because the effect is and like, and Violet really can't do much with the effect res. With Arya's gonna have the thing, and they'll have a bunch of effect res, and you know, it's gonna sit there. If he gets through, we can sober and ignore effect res and push her back, and or kill her. We're gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> I was like, he has to ignore effect res on his S3. I don't really mind all the ice shooters because Elegos could ignore effect res, Elver, or Arya and get a defense break and she could just, you know, push her hands to him. But we still got it though. 
I think Violet's gonna be the only one to be able to survive. Let's do this. Upgrade complete. We're gonna S2. You're not scared, are you? Mm, she usually don't have that much HP, but she. Uh, we're gonna try for this, cause I know Ever don't usually have too much HP, cause she put it all on her Fectress, So there we go. I said she doesn't have that much Fectress, I mean, doesn't have that much HP, cause she put it all on her Fectress. So Violet shouldn't be able to get hit. 1900, she has 1900 HP on Biblis, okay. Oop, oop. Oh, nice counterattack. You never did that before. Now try me. Don't chicken out. I see you. Now try me. Don't chicken out. Look at my sword. Not thing, we're gonna oh, oh, we should have S3. I did it. Wasn't paying attention to his focus. She has 10,000 HP also, but she has like not, not much. So we're gonna just do this. Quark is dead. Okay, Quark is dead. We're gonna soul burn. Uh, game. Uh, uh, <laughs> did, did I do something wrong? Did did a did the thunderstorm? Oh, my connection died. Okay, I was like, I should really pull the weeds. All right, we're back, baby. Violet gotta do his violent things. I'll show you how a hero does things. I wrote this S3 because we have full max focus. You haven't heard of she does have full max, but I don't think we're going to get an Elbrus, are we? No. We could do this, strip her off. Four. Push her back. I know I'm beautiful. Does she, what does she have? S3? No. We're gonna S1. I'll break you. We're gonna soul burn because this is all we got left before she dies. And it's not much you can really do against Violet. Do and Violet dodged. His apple was up, so he has a like, better chance of hitting Violet. It's just like a dream. This is gonna hit. Even if it's even even through a miss, it's gonna hit. Like. Watch it connects. <laughs> I say, watch it connects. I know I don't have Apple, but still, <laughs> watch it connects. <laughs> if you want me to. All right, that's that's it for today. But anyway, thunderstorm still going. You can see the background in my kitchen is gloomy and dark. But hope you guys enjoyed this GVG. I hope you guys pick an ML units or ML4. I actually kind of want to pick. Um, the MF4 for Thales and I ain't caring, but I don't have the speed gear. But at the same time, I kind of just want to pick up FCC because I don't see her very often. I kind of want to just build her just to see. Is she really that bad? Because everything's real about her still, but you know, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this GBG and see you guys around. Peace.